y'all see this shimmer? Get you some of this. I promise you. Look. Nothing. It's dry. This is not oily at all. I'm telling you, that spray is it. Don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. There's no need for us to rush this through. I really hope you guys have enjoyed your Mother's Day. I, I do apologize. I was I was supposed to post on Sunday and I was having technical issues, but that doesn't matter because we're here today. Guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am April Sunny. And today we are talking about spring favorites. We are already mid-May. Can you believe it? Summer is right around the corner. So I wanted to share with you some things that I have been obsessed with this spring and if you haven't tried it baby these products you need to try like these are must try products i've broken this down into categories we have hair products because we're hair girls right your outfit can be busted but if your hair is amazing you're working with something okay so i do have hair products skincare fragrance internal and mental so if that is something you like to see, then definitely keep on watching. If you're a brown girl like me on YouTube, the only way we grow is if we care enough to share. So please give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and let's get started. So we are talking about the best plant-based, black family owned girl. Yes, hair care product line. I know you guys have seen them on Instagram, TikTok, or even a YouTube short. Baby, if you have seen the 1212 brand and you have been concerned about whether you should try it, stop thinking about it and invest because it is definitely worth it. I, I haven't relaxed my hair since November of 2022. And so I have a good amount of new growth and relaxed hair. I'm gonna go through each product and let you know how I feel about each one individually. The mud mask, it smells like clay. The smell will go away, it does not linger, okay? It's free from synthetic chemicals and fragrances, so you don't have to be concerned about that. The first ingredient is Dead Sea Mud, okay? So you're getting what it says it's gonna give. This does have henna powder, keratin, protein, vitamin E, tea tree, and jojoba oil in it, and of course other ingredients. But it does have really, really good ingredients in it that's going to help not hinder your hair. I love this Dead Sea Mask. Again, don't use it more than once a month, and if you don't need it, <laughs> don't use it. I mean, if you need a detox, use it. If you don't, don't use it. The cleanser, the first ingredient is witch hazel, and as you can see, it does look a bit watery. It does say it is to cleanse and replenish. I will say amazing, amazing for my scalp and my new growth on my relaxed hair. Like I was doing too much with using this and then this, but what I will say, even though my relaxed hair started to feel a bit dry, it was not breaking, it was not shedding, it was not breaking at the line of demarcation. If anything, it felt strengthened, but super cleansed, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But the first ingredient, like I said, in this is witch hazel. It has other great ingredients such as vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, vitamin B6. I mean, the list goes on, you guys. Like cleanse and replenish after you have detoxed and cleansed the hair properly you want to always 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 no matter what go back in with some hydration and this line of course provides that with their conditioner now when i first looked at it i was like okay is that a rinse out conditioner or is that a hair mask because that's how we're kind of used to looking at products baby this is to moisturize and seal your hair it does come out like a regular conditioner, but it acts as a hair mask. So I kind of like that. I don't kind of like that. I actually really, really love that because no matter your hair's porosity, this is going to penetrate 
your hair shaft and moisturize and hydrate it from the inside out, okay? If you put this on your hair and it looks like you haven't put any on your hair, it's okay, baby. Your hair is soaking it up. That is a good thing. It smells heavenly, okay? It smells so good. It smells like you're sitting in some type of spa getting a back rub and you're getting, I don't know, this just smells so spa-like. I love it so much. If you watch a few videos on this, they also recommend you sit under a steamer, a hair steamer. I did not do that. I didn't feel like pulling that thing out. I didn't feel like putting it together. I just went ahead and put a conditioning cap on and sat under my regular like hair dryer and you know, heated it up that way. And you, like I got great results, but my results could have been better had I used it the way they recommended it. But I love like when I say, when I say my natural and relaxed hair, just kind of like if I, if there was any tangles, this will melt the tangles away like this feels so amazing on the hair i will say i use this conditioner in conjunction with a different shampoo for one of my wash days this gave me a 10 out of 10 when paired with the 1212 line it gave me maybe a 5.56 with paired with a different shampoo so take that as you will detangle and protect so after you have rinsed out your conditioner, before you put a comb to your hair or start to detangle, even though it's very, very soft and manageable, trust me, your hair will, I can 100% stand behind this line. Your hair will be soft, okay, and manageable. But before you go in to detangle it at all, shake this up really well and mist this in your hair to help you detangle and also it is used as a heat protectant. The first ingredient is water. After that, we have grapeseed oil, 1212 conditioner, and lemon grass. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. I love it for my daughter's hair. Like, I this is probably gonna be my number one go-to hair care line from this day on. Like, unless they like change the ingredients or something. I do wanna talk about the scalp oils. I like to use this as a pre-poo. The ingredients in this scalp oil is lavender oil, vitamin E, moringa oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed, tea tree, chamomile, rose oil, and peppermint. So I love the ingredients in this oil, but I notice I prefer this on my strands as a pre-poo instead of on my scalp. Does that make sense? So like when I took my braids or my faux locks out, I would put this all over my hair and it just made it so much easier to detangle my hair. I put a conditioning cap on and I would leave it there until I was ready to rinse it out and then go in with the mud mask. So after my hair is blown dry, I'll then go in with the hair serum, which is to seal the hair. You only need one pump. So you put this on, you rub this in, you put it on the ends of your hair and work your way up the strand. And trust me, this will last you because again, you only need one pump and it gets the job done. This is the only brand I've been using this spring. And let me tell you, I love it. I have seen such a huge positive turnaround in the health of my scalp and the health of my hair if you thought about trying this brand stop thinking about it just get it okay first spray serum it hydrates and radiates the skin it's a double layer serum enriched with white truffle from italy see this glow nothing it's dry this is not oily at all i'm telling you that spray is it this has been in my amazon store i don't know if you guys have looked there as of late but i will link it down below if you want a hydrating glow without doing the most with oil we want to look like we're glowing we don't want to look like we're frying so this is also a vegan product I would tell you guys the ingredients, but it is in Korean, so I cannot read that. So basically what I do is I shake it up, 
mix the ingredients really, really well. And then, so before I do my makeup, I will spray this on my face and it just adds a layer of like hydration. This will help you with that. And you don't have to be obsessive with this. One good spray is gonna give you everything you're looking for. I promise you. It smells refreshing. It almost smells like fresh rain. Remember what rain used to smell like as a child? Like just replenishing, refreshing, cleansing the earth. That's what this smells like. I don't, I don't know how they bottled that smell, but they did, okay? I've spoke about this before, this Pacifica Wake Up Beautiful face mask. This is also vegan. Look at me in the vegan stack. This one is a super hydrating sleepover mask. It replenishes and quenches while you sleep, okay? And then I also have this one. It says Wake Up Beautiful Overnight Retinoid Cream. To me, they both have, so they both smell like a regular lotion, so it doesn't feel it doesn't feel heavy or out of place. It's just a thin layer. What I noticed when I wasn't using it, I would see all of these little small fine lines and wrinkles creeping up when I did use it. This one actually is my favorite. The hydrating one is my favorite. I swear like I woke up and I felt like I looked five years younger. Like I was like, oh, oh my God, my face felt so baby soft and my makeup laid better in the morning. And I just felt, so replenished it i felt replenished i really did with this one it kind of does the same thing but you don't feel as hydrated does that make sense like my face still felt baby soft and i did see a reduction of really fine lines but i didn't feel as hydrated but it still got the job done both of these have the same texture to me which is like a thicker lotion but it absorbs in your face like a um it absorbs on your face like a regular moisturizer which is very strange but i i love it and of course the first ingredient is water i purchased this from target of course i'm going to link it in my amazon store if you have an interest obsessed i typically like rotate these two like and if I'm super tired, I don't put I don't put either of these on my face. I'll actually just put some almond oil on my face. I've been loving this almond oil in conjunction with these. Now, I don't use the almond oil and the nighttime mask. It's just I might use this on Monday, might use this on Tuesday. And then if I'm not in the mood to use a nighttime mask and I'm really tired, I'll just use the almond oil. Okay, it's, it's so quick, I keep it right by my sink. When I'm coming out of the shower and my face is still a little damp, I'll put a little dot, a little goes a long way, massage my face really quickly and go to bed. I'm telling you, you guys, my face is so hydrated in the morning, like, I love it. Coming into spring, I really, I wanted to do better for myself and make sure my health was at the tippity top, okay? And a part of that was detoxing my system and you know, just feeling lighter and, and better. When your body is functioning properly from the inside out and your gut is clean, it does radiate from the inside out. And so I started taking liquid chlorophyll. Baby, this is nasty. I'm not even gonna front on you. It do have like a minty smell, minty, taste to it but it's not enough mint to not still taste that it's nasty it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't replace the actual taste of it okay so this is very very like inky and, and pure and i'm not gonna front on you like it was very hard to digest when i first drank it i felt like i was going to puke i did you know i did see online that you can like put lemon juice like fresh squeezed lemons in you know your chlorophyll drink to kind of you know cut the taste make it taste better i'm a g i'm a g okay i took this straight <laughs> mm. 
I promise you don't get used to this. You do not get used to this taste. Thought I'd go ahead and drink my chlorophyll for the day while they cut the grass and then we can continue. But man, wow. I do drink one glass a day. <laughs> Anywho, okay, so this is super concentrated. It's an internal deodorizer. So it's it's an internal deodorizer and it's also supposed to help your digestive system. I can say it does what it says it's gonna do. Meaning you don't have like really stinky morning breath in the mornings, like it's, it's not that bad. And that's because you're cleaning your gut out. And when I say you cleaning your gut out, it's not gonna send you running like a laxative, but baby, you gonna go. You gonna go to the bathroom. I promise you that one. I am gonna do an entire video on just chlorophyll to tell you guys about it. Cause I kept a little diary of what was happening to me during the month that I have been taking it. And so I want to go into details about this, but it's going to be in another video because I can go on and on and on. Now, speaking of being more fresh, okay, in the springtime, I kind of put down all of the perfumes because perfumes can be a little overwhelming sometimes. I am a body mist type of girl because I want to leave like a soft lingering smell. I don't want to leave like, ooh, that perfume smell that you wear like during the winter. No, I'm not a perfume girl in the spring, okay? I have this Waikiki Beach Coconut Fine Mist. Now this has tropical white coconut, salt water breeze, sun bleached wood. Those are the notes. This smells like, whew. If you're not into sweet smells, walk away, but it's not super sweet. It's not like juvenile sweet. This is like, I'm a grown woman with some money and I'm about to pack my bags and go on a trip type of smell. It smells so good. Yes. I love this smell. This reminds you of like a Jamaican tropical breeze. Yes. This right here, a Jamaican tropical breeze. Okay. I love this smell. I, I belong in Jamaica anyway. Okay. Then I have the Bahamas Passion Fruit Banana Flower. This one is again on the sweeter side. It has passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. To me, this one is more of your everyday spring, summer body mist. Um, again, it does have a sweeter smell to it, of course, because it has fruity notes in it. If you're not a fruity note girl, I am. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I am into unisex smells, but not for the spring and summer. For me, spring and summer is about fruity, fresh, linen type of smells. And this one definitely has that, I'm just so fresh and so clean, clean, but I'm sweet type of smell. That's the only way I could really describe this one. I love this fragrance. And then at night, I find myself spraying Champagne Toast. This one is a popular one actually. And the notes in this one is pop. This one is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine. This one is this, to me, this is the same thing as strawberry champagne. It smelled the exact same way. I absolutely love that fragrance. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. And I typically wear this one at night. I just love to smell it as I'm sleeping. It's just so worth it. This journal has been a lifesaver for me for this spring because it's so easy to focus on the negative in your life and this journal does not even allow you to write down anything negative about yourself or anyone else or about your experiences. It only allows you at the top of the morning to say something positive and say something you want to say to someone else positively. And then at the end of the night, three things that was amazing during your day that brought you joy and then you could doodle, you know, something that'll make you joyous or just write down how you were feeling. I love this journal. I picked this journal up from 
my local Marshalls, it was only $4.99. But you guys, I'm gonna show you the inside just in case you can't find it in your local Marshalls or if I can't find it on Amazon. I'm gonna show you the inside so you can get a notebook and like just write, write it down yourself and start doing it. I think it was so worth it because mentally, I am so much better. I'm able to look at things a little differently. It's so easy to go into the negative spaces and go through your mind over and over and over the negative things that have happened to you or has been said to you throughout that day. And this opens your day up with something positive and closes your day with something positive. And that way you're able to sleep that much better. So come say hi to everybody. Y'all. This is my daughter, Logan, Hi. and this is her kitty, Mace. She is out of school today because she said she wasn't feeling good. Look at that face. She said she was sick this morning. I was sick. Okay. What are you doing? That is it, you guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and until the next time, be loved. There's issues at hand and we're not discussing. Done saying, we just friends now. Got me feeling pinned down.